Hey y'all, this is a video in order to help Laura. She is trying to create her own mock-ups. Now this is a mock-up that she bought um, where she works. They create digital chalk art and they put them in uh, mock-ups that they purchase and they're wanting to stop purchasing them and to create their own. A mock-up is kind of just like a still art image with a uh, place often a frame where you can change what's within the frame um, and change the text um, with phone apps. I see them off being offered more and more in phone apps and then you can change what's in it. So here's the mock-up that Laura's trying to make. She admitted this was just a quick photo so it might not be the sharpest although you could sharpen it in Photoshop. And I have to admit that you know professional photographers would tell you get the lighting right in your camera. The values are Kelvin values. Your light bulbs are, have Kelvin values. Um, uh, we just played with that in our own home. Uh, reading Kelvin values on light bulb packages makes a huge difference and um, in the lighting in your home. And uh, anyway, the same is uh, for your camera. You can go into the manual settings and change the Kelvin values specifically. You don't have to just use the various uh, white balance settings. But for me, I am so lazy about getting that perfect photo because it's so easy to fix it in Photoshop. I'm lazy in my camera because I can do it in Photoshop. And so I wanted to show her how to uh, fix her uh, problem with her photo. This is her photo. This is her fix. You can see it's better, but it still doesn't have the same white as this. In fact, this is almost gray uh, looking with the uh, gray scale. Um, what I want to remind uh, you of is that um, you have warm colors, which are in the yellows and the reds and then you have cold colors which are in the blues and maybe greens mostly the blue and they're opposite each other on the color wheel and so you have to do the opposite um, when you're fixing in Photoshop and so the her photo is very warm and uh, so that's what you need to note in order to fix something uh, for color in Photoshop. So I've just got this minimized in front of uh, her, uh, the what I downloaded off of Facebook. It's not the original high quality, but I just wanted to share how to fix the photos. The first thing I always do with photos, very first thing is to check the levels. So I use a lot of new adjustment layers and so I'm going to choose levels and I'm going to look at the histogram and I see well because there's a lot of white in the photo I see that this is oh, all the way over to the right and um, that's because there's a lot of white in the photo but uh, it's also a little messed up on the dark end which would be affecting the flowers. And so I'm just going to move that black slider over just to the edge to kind of fix her flowers. Now, to fix the coloring, there are so many methods, and I'm just going to show you two. Um, first, you can use uh, color balance. And I'm in Photoshop CC. I'm not sure if this is in, in uh, Photoshop Elements or not, but I'll show you uh, something that is in Photoshop Elements. And so you have here, um, you see the blue is opposite of the yellow on the color wheel. And we have a lot of yellow in this photo, so I need to replace it with blue. So all I'm going to do is move the slider over. And the, the more I move it, the more grayscale you kind of get. But I think about right in here is good. And you see even the color of the photo of the flowers um, got better. Now, if you wanted to go back to the original color of the flowers, you do have a layer mask right here. And you can just do your brush tool and uh, black uh, as your foreground color. Just have a basic brush. 
and I have my opacity way down. And I do play with colors like this in my photos sometimes. And, um, you know, just go wherever you want to bring back that original color in the flowers if you want. I'm going to make my, there, it's coming back a little bit. And you would just do it uh, ever so uh, slightly. Uh, let's go back to this one. I've got to move this stuff around. Uh, there we go. And so then you can get some of your original color back around your flowers. So that is one way. And here we are. I'm going to make that layer invisible to show you the next uh, method. And I'm just leaving this here so you can kind of see that uh, one target one she's going for. So um, the other method is to use the hue and saturation. And I've been doing this one for a long time. And under master, choose yellow and then just desaturate all the yellows in this photo. And you see how nice that looks just like that. I just took out all the yellows. I mean, it was like two clicks and it was done. Again, I like personally the color of the flowers, but I've lost the green on my leaves. So I've got my brush with a low opacity and black because um, white reveals, black conceals, and I want to conceal the change on these leaves. And then I'm just going to click in here until I can uh, bring back the color of those leaves. Um, I could show you another option, maybe. I haven't played with it or tested it to, to see if it would work. I would zoom in and just do this really close but you can see the leaves are are coming back I might I would probably if I were to really do this for professional purposes make my brush smaller and zoom in so I'm just hitting uh, the places that need the color so anyway that is how I would make it more white and take out that uh, color cast from the uh, bulbs in her lighting that she's using. And I hope this helps.